I just did it again. Got to a place where I was gonna kayak, forgot my paddle. I usually always keep the paddle in the truck, but I forgot I took it out and didn't even think about it. So I get to where I'm gonna kayak, no paddle, but I'm not even mad. It's such a beautiful spring day out here. It's one of those days it's like uh, 55, but it feels warmer because it's so dry. A little bit of wind, sun's out. I made two casts already and caught a fish. So I think I'm just gonna fish off the bank where I was gonna kayak. I've seen some bass swimming around over here. So we're gonna fish off the bank. If we don't catch anything, then we might go back and get the kayak, but I think I can catch some fish right here. Start with a little multi-species. Oh, oh, what are those? Oh, there's a little. There's a bunch of little bass down there. I thought I saw some. There's there's a lot of action going on in here. <gasps> eat it, 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 eat it. Oh, he nipped at it like three times. There's one. There's one. Yeah. I was, my goal today was catch multi-species, just like do fish for whatever. So I brought like a few different rods from varying, like from light to medium to heavy. Second red breast. But I've seen some little bass. I saw a bass earlier that looked to be maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. So we'll, I got several lures to throw, but man. Next cast, got another panfish. Is it another red breast? It's a bluegill. So there's red breast and bluegill over there. Who needs a kayak when they're biting right off the bank like this? Oh, whoa, that's a solid fish. I just hooked something pretty good. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> it's a fat one. Oh, that's nice. Look how chubby that dude is. This is the area I was gonna kayak. It's kind of calm over here. And I, Bass and Grass had his boat in here the other day. And I was like, I gotta get my kayak in there. But um, I can catch it from the bank right now. Nice largemouth. I'm just gonna stay with this little lure till I Find a reason to switch, which I'm gonna try other stuff. I got some other stuff. Oh, it's a little guy. A little largemouth. Man, man, these guys are feisty. Sun's warming everything up. These fish are getting fired up, a lot more active. <laughs> I watched that guy eat it. Came over here around on the side. Sight fish this guy. That's why I love fishing clear water. It's so fun just to watch the fish react. Eat it, come on. Ah, oh, there's some panfish cruising there just barely nibbled at my bait. They look like good sized ones too. All right, this little bass wouldn't hit a second ago. Then I threw, and there was like two or three bigger bass beside him. Then he hits it. Those other ones beside him probably were 15, 16 inch bass, but he wouldn't bite until his other ones were next to him. So he's like, oh, I gotta eat that. I'm seeing fish in here, but they're not being very active. I mean, they're, uh, they're in this calm water. It's like, I don't know, something about it. You know, there's not really current flowing. They're not really in a, well, they have to feed. There must be all kinds of food in here too. All right, as you can see, I'm back. <laughs> well, you didn't know I left, but I did. I left, went and got the paddle. I'm back, got the kayak in. I walked down the bank and I saw bass in here and I couldn't get them to bite. I'm not sure how they're gonna be um, because the water is kind of low, so I don't know if that's gonna affect them. Oh, 
I saw one eat it. I thought. Dude, there's a lot of bass in here. Oh, there's a fish. Man, I thought I was gonna go through here and not get one. It's the first bite of God. I'm just throwing a weightless stick bait. Look at the colors on that guy. But man, there's a bunch in here. I can't believe that I haven't got anything else. I'm just waiting for any moment though, like a three or four pounder. Oh, that's a saltfish. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. He's filming. Whoa, chubby. Probably a 12 incher. But it looked bigger in the water because uh, how it's just really colorful in this clear water. There's there's dozens and dozens this size in here and bigger ones. Sneak attack that one. Well, another chubby one. I threw it. There's this big brush pile, and I threw it over over that ledge, just let it sink, and then he grabbed it. I think because he didn't see the kayak and everything. In a brush pile like this, how many fish are living in there? Just hundreds of fish. Just th probably thousands of if you just. Or getting down to the small ones, just all right. I came back up the little branch, just like a little cut through, and we're gonna get out in the river and kind of work our way back down. I don't know if I'll catch a thing out of the river, it's kind of fast flowing, but I just want to do it and um, come back through. I'm trying to find a way to do it without getting wet, but I think I'm gonna have to get out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we made it. See that bridge back there? That's where my truck is. I just made a decision two minutes ago. We're gonna keep on going. I'm gonna go down to the next bridge. I'm gonna have to walk back I think it's like a mile and a half, two miles. But I really wanted to catch a good bass today. And I've been wanting to kayak this little short section of the river. Uh, I think there's some deeper, slower holes. If I remember, I've only been through here one time. But we're gonna do it. So that's that's kind of how random it is. Uh, I know I get comments several, uh, I get comments where people are like, hey, uh, let me know and I'll pick you up. And I know there's several guys out there, but I make, I don't know. I'm very random at my fishing decisions a lot of times, and it's just whatever's happening. If I'd have caught a bunch of good fish in there, I was like, yeah, I've been fine, but I really wanna go through here, and we're gonna do it, so. Maybe a little walking, hopefully some fish will be caught. Man, I made it to the next ramp and I got snagged. Did not catch a fish, which is crazy. So I'm gonna fish down here. This is the area where I normally fish. 
I gotta get a fish. I can't believe I didn't get a bass. That is really hard to believe. Oh, I've come too far to not get a fish. I haven't caught a bass since I left that area. I thought it'd be easy. So I paddled all the way up here and I'm gonna try to hit that bend up there. That's just a area I've caught fish out of. And I'm gonna give it one last like really good chance. It looks something decent today. Things you'll see when you're kayaking rivers. This guy's whole tire and wheel It's like good tread too. I bet that bounced off somebody's, like their spare. How in the world did that whole thing, it's like aired up, it's got good tread. I wish I could take that thing home. I don't even know what to do with it. It's just gonna float somewhere, I guess. Yes, there we go. Oh, I got one. We got a fish. Our only bass we've caught. Not even a, man, he's all right. All of them have been about 11, 12 inches today. I was hoping for a big payout after all that work I spent. A little spot. Man, I'm glad I got some, because I thought well, I was heading back without a single fish in the last two hours. He was off the rock ledge over here. Uh, we got a few rock ledges. Maybe we can pick out another one. I would love to give another one, but we got one. Hey, best one to do. I picked up another one using this uh, spunk shed. I'm about to be in the tree. That makes me feel a little better. He's fat too. I got two. No, they're small. Pretty slow today. It's kind of weird. I think maybe because the water's, yeah. they've been generating so much and then that change probably got them messed up because I always catch fish in here and this has been one of the slowest days when I've come through here. There we go. Oh, I should have, oh, well that was a little large mouth. Should have used to finesse earlier. Oh, back camera's finally run out of me. Well, you won't believe what just happened. Or maybe you will. I was kind of worried about tying my kayak off there, and I know a lot of people were like, don't ever leave your kayak there, but I do things and I try things and you kind of, I kind of push a little bit and I'm like, I don't think anybody's gonna mess with it. I tie it off. I no sooner step out on the road. I reach in my backpack to get my water out. Jim pulls up, never met the guy before, pulls up. As soon as I step out on the road, he said, Hey, you need a ride? Drives me the three miles back over here to my truck. Man, what a nice guy. So I was just blown away, but man, just awesome little trip. Thanks so much for the ride back uh, from the stranger. Maybe he's an angel, I don't know. Surprised I didn't catch anything through there. Caught some fish out of the, this one little area, then caught some fish out of the, uh, the other river that I normally fish and just explored. The days are getting longer and you can actually do these kind of things because you don't have to worry about it getting dark so fast. But all right, I'm gonna go back over, load up my uh, kayak and I was gonna drink some water and eat a snack. Now I can just go get something to eat from the Mexican place.